Hello, Anna. How are you? Hello. How was your day? Um, so so because I I was sick those day <laughs> since maybe since Saturday. Mm. And yes. The the uh, the um, last day no on on Sunday I was very very sick very sick I I was a fever cough flu and maybe it's COVID <laughs> because mm -hmm. I don't know it's very very hard. Mm. And are you taking medicine or doing anything different? Yes, I take him. I was medicine. taking medicine, yes. But mm -hmm. today I I was feel better. Okay. Yes, maybe the the virus. Mm -hmm. The virus? Yes, the virus is losing my my body. <laughs> your, your body is winning, yes. Yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe, but it's, it's a little difficult. It's many days you are sick. Yes, it's mm -hmm. difficult. Um, and for and Thursday, and Thursday, I yes. have a, a and the thurs, Thursday is Jueves, right? Yes. The, and on Thursday will 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 be a a event in the company, mm -hmm. and I need a, I need to be a, nice because I I have an an event in the night. It is mm -hmm. very important for me. Mm, you have to go. Yes, uh, this this day I. I will came to the class because I have a, an event uh -huh. in the night. It's a okay. recognition event oh. of the company. Yes, okay. and I have a, a eleven years in the company. And I have to 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 came to go to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. very nice. And is the event is for many people. Uh, for you or for for different areas it's for many people the from seven years mm -hmm. of tenure to 15 years maybe wow. or or more yes is in in a bar in San Salvador is in a circo is the name. Ah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah in the Escalon. Yes. Yes. Near to Galaxy Bowling. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, then you have to be good because you're going to have a good party. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Well, Julissa Maximo. Welcome. Um, I know Daniel is not possible to participate, but is listening. Ulisa Maximo, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. How was your day, Maximo? My day was good. I have a lot of work. Uh, with my partner, mm -hmm. did uh, all all task in the day, and I I bought I bought um, the necessary for the day in my. In my, in my, to develop my task. Only teacher. Okay. All right. Good. And for you, Julissa, how was your day? Good evening. 
Well, my day was fine. I have a new team because I'm supervisor for my account. So I um, since tomorrow I I'll be the supervisor for Anesin. I today I wish that tomorrow it will be a good day too. Okay, okay. So tomorrow you're going to be uh, with the nesting. Yes. Ten mm. ten new people in the account. Okay. So tomorrow a lot of work, huh? Yes, a lot of and hard work. Yes. It's typical, especially the new people. They the system, the program, the so many things that they have to learn. Yes, and the attitude. I think the attitude it's all for the for the job. So I wish too that the people maybe uh have a good attitude. Okay. Well, good luck for tomorrow. Great. Well, as we can see, we are very few today. Today, only three people connected. Uh, well, four, but only three can participate. So we're going to try together. In 4.4, in the platform, we're going to be looking at the idea from yesterday, which was, if, excuse me, if you remember yesterday, we were looking at how to change from active to passive. And the passive, always the verb to be, and the verbs in the past participle, okay? So let's take a look here and try to complete it together. So as an example, here, to complete the script, it has to divide into scenes. We use the word divide and the verb to be correctly. So it would have to be, it has to be divided. This would be the correct way to complete number one, right? This is how we would make the passive for number one. Let's try number two. What would be number two? The filming need details need to? Writing. Writing. <laughs> Okay, first is B. Mm -hmm. Be right. Need to be. And then? Rotten out. Okay, he says rotten out. Mm -hmm. Anna, do you agree? Yes. Rotten out. Okay, who rotten do you agree? out. Uh, because uh, is to be working out. Okay, so. Yes, I agree. Okay, good is not correct. Um, remember the past participle. So the past participle uh, written, written, uh -huh. written, not sorry. written, not uh huh, not, not exist. Okay. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't exist. That's it the doesn't other. exist. Okay, See, good. Written good. out. Mm -hmm. Good. Let's try number three. First, an outline of the script has to be. Oops. Mm hmm. Have to be prepared. 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 Okay. Prepared. Very nice. So always we're going to use a verb to be. In some cases, it can be different. Um, is, are, and then always the verb to be, which mm -hmm. is the same. Those are the four options that we have. And then the past participle. Okay. What about number four? Next, actors. Be chose, chose. Be chose. chose. Mm -hmm. Maximo, no. do you agree? No, is no. Is the end. chosen? The letter, letter, Ch and chosen. Chosen. Yes. chosen? Yes. See, only it's chosen. Participle. Yes, it's part. It's past participle. Okay. Okay. And what about locations? Mm -hmm. 
I don't know, pick what is the picked. fast part? Picked. Pick it. Picked. 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 And the verb be picked. To be? be picked. Okay, locations. Be, be, picked. be picked. Okay. What about six? Costumes, design, filming can then begin. Design of. Designed. designed. Okay. So costumes, what? Be designed. Okay. Designed. Good. What about number seven? The outline? The outline. Be expanded. Expanded. Be. Okay. Expanded into a script. Great. Number eight. After the script. Be completed. Okay. Be completed. A director. Be hired. Hired. Okay. Good. Hired. Hired. Mm -hmm. And then the final film you see on the screen. Be created. Be created. Oops. Put it over here. Be created by the director and editor uh, out of thousands of different shots. Soon after the film has been edited, music. Be composed. Be composed. Okay. And sound effects are added. And the last one, after the film. Be finished. Be finished. Okay. Uh, Julissa, do you agree? Do you want to change anything? Or mm. do you want to change anything? Or maximum? Uh, I think that it's all wrong. <laughs> okay. Do you think it's all wrong? Okay, Julissa? <laughs> So what do you think is the correct are the correct answers? I don't know. <laughs> he, 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 um, I don't know. I don't know if I have some here, but the first be divide. Be divided. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The second one be writing out. Uh -huh. The third one be prepared. The second be writing out. Uh -huh. yes, prepare that, the third one. But that's what we have, Morena. That is already what we have. So are there any that you want to change? But they, no, uh -huh. ah, but the number four, next. I have that the I is, are using. Is, is. Are using. Okay. The actor are. Are using. Uh -huh. I, I, I are have using. The, are, are, are chosen. chosen. Are chosen. Okay. Are chosen. The second one I have, I are picked. Are picked. Okay. Uh -huh. In the, sec in the, in the other are one, designed. are designing. Okay. The is island the, is. Is expanded. Seven is, is expanded. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. After the It's completed the second. Is the completed. Next. Okay. The director is. The other one is higher. Okay. Is created. Mm -hmm. Is mm -hmm. composed. Okay. Is finished. But it's I'm finished. Not, I don't know it. Okay, very good. Yes, yes. It, it is right. Correct, very good, yes. Uh, I was waiting for listening, but uh, I don't know why. Everybody's only said B, 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 B. Yes. Remember, the verb to be, um, is, are, be. We use the different verbs to be, depending on the situations. So here, correct. Are. Are chosen actors, mm -hmm. plural. Actors, they, they are, not they be. Mm. Locations, places, they, they are. Costumes, again. So you can see that, yes, the almost all of them were wrong. But they were wrong because you didn't use the correct verb to be. This is the important part when using the passive voice. Using the correct verb to be. Okay. So always you have to look at what we're talking about, if singular or plural, and then choose the verb to be and I 
and then the past participle. Okay. Any questions? No. 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 Okay. So I see that we still need a little bit more practice with the verb to be because several, most of those answers were incorrect and we're going to practice just a little bit. So what is the most important part? Remember, in always you need to make sure that the verb to be goes according to the subject. Is it going to be um, is, are, the different forms. That's the most important one. Which one has to be chosen, okay? And then always we use the difference between active and passive is in active, the person does the action, okay? In passive, the object is receives the action. The easy way to think about this is imagine a baseball or a ball. So in an active, the person kicks the ball, focus in the person and does the action, kicks the ball. And the difference when we have the passive is now we focus on the object. Now we focus on the ball and we say, ah, the ball is kicked. The ball was kicked like this. This is going to be the difference between them. Okay. Okay. Is that okay? Yes. So, so? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, hang on. Let me organize these so that I can give you some ideas, a little bit of practice. Okay. So, we're going to practice four links. I'm going to put the links for you in, in the chat. That way, we can practice a little bit and make sure that it's correct. One moment. Let me just copy them and paste them and then we go. Okay. So remember to open the links before we go to the groups. That way you're able to participate without having any problems. Okay, do you have the four links? Yes. Yes? Okay, perfect. Yes. Okay, so we have four links. We're gonna have a few moments to go with our partners to make sure that we have all of them. Okay, today I'll give you a little bit more time to make sure that you're able to complete it because some of them is, are writing and some of them you have to analyze a little bit more. There. Maximo, are you having some problems? Okay, let's take a look. All right, we're going to watch the videos from yesterday to help us review the perspectives of passive. 
Keep on watching these videos, they give you a preview of what this section will be about. My name is Matthew Hawks and I'm a singer-songwriter. Making music is my creative outlet, the way I make sense of the world around me. When I sit down to compose, the first thing I do is tune my guitar. Once the guitar is tuned up and ready, I set up the keyboard. The keyboard has multiple functions and multiple sounds. What comes out of me is a reflection of how I'm feeling that day. Sometimes I can spend hours writing one piece. I'm writing this song. I titled it Revelations. When I sit down to write, one of the things I like to use most is a thesaurus. I started with a one word, Revelations. I look it up in a thesaurus, and I could have ten words then, each with a different sound, each offering a different rhyme scheme for me. As I When I feel I've taken my song as far as I can, Teacher. I then bring it to a recording Teacher. studio. Yeah. I'm so sorry I because a... I I log out because I had an accident. <laughs> I apologize, but I had a classmate that uh, they were only listening. Okay, I see. Okay. I see Alexandra and Daniel. You, uh -huh. We have another one, Alexandra. So I send you to another group, no problem. Okay, thank you. Okay. Important to get feedback and ideas from other musicians. Aldous Collins is a guitarist and a friend. He accompanies me in the recording studio. At the studio, we work with a recording engineer. I'm Richard Marr, I'm a recording engineer. My job is to capture music of a band. I go around and mic everything up, it comes through my board, and it's recorded into the computer system here, a multi-track recorder. All right, guys, roll it. One, two, three. The recording engineer mixes all the vocals and instruments together. Recording your music can actually teach you a lot. You hear your own music differently. Revelation. It changes your perspective, and you notice all kinds of things that you didn't when you composed the song. At the end of the recording session, I have a digital file of my song. I take my songs to radio stations and try to get them to play them on the air to build an audience for my song and my music. Hi, my name is Melanie Oliver. I'm the program director here at the radio station. The program director's job is to decide what music is played on air. So I pick the songs and tell the DJs what songs to play. Hey Josh, come on in. Hey Melanie. Hey. So I've picked the three songs that we're going to use for the local music show. Okay, here's some background information. Great. One of the artists' name is Matthew Hawks. Okay. The song is called Revelations. It's going to be a really good song, so I think you should play it on your show. Great. I look forward to playing it. Great. Thank Th you. Thank you. My name is Josh McBride, and I'm a DJ right here at the radio station. The main responsibility of a DJ is to play music on the radio. Other responsibilities include adjusting the volume, 
speaking with listeners, conducting contests, and reading commercials. Here's a new one from a Boston local. Matthew Hawks did this one. This is Revelations right here on WERS. And now, people all over the world can download it too, which is so cool. If you want to download it, look me up. My name is Matt Hawks. At www.matthawks.com. And the song is Revelations. Enjoy. Hi, if someone tells you that making videos or movies is hard work, would you believe it? Pay attention to Ryan and Nina talk about filmmaking. Movies are hard work. Part A. Listen and practice. Working on movies must be really exciting. Oh yeah, but it's also very hard work. A one minute scene in a film can take days to shoot. Really? Why is that? Well, a scene isn't filmed just once. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Only the best ones are used in the final film. So how many times does a typical scene need to be shot? It depends, but sometimes as many as 20 times. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Wow, I didn't realize that. Why don't you come visit the studio? I can show you how things are done. Great, I'd love to. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else makes working on movies difficult? So, you see, it's not really as glamorous a job as people think. I guess not. For example, the hours are dreadful. So it's not exactly a 9 to 5 job? Not at all. Sometimes we shoot a scene right through the night. Or we may start work early in the morning. We have to get everything ready for a shoot, the lighting and everything. And that can take hours. So, if we're going to start filming at 8 in the morning, we usually have to be on the job by 3 or 4 a.m. to get ready. 3 in the morning? That's unbelievable. Oh, no, it's not. Believe me, it happens all the time. Hello, in this lesson we'll study passive to describe process. Get your notebook and get ready to take notes. The passive to describe process. Is are plus past participle. A scene isn't filmed just once. Only the best shots are used. Modal plus be plus past participle. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Before we begin, let me review the reasons for using the passive. Number one, we don't know who does the action. Number two, the doer of the action is not important. With this in mind, we will use the basic passive. In other words, be plus past participle. Work with me on this first sentence. A scene isn't filmed just once. Only the best shots are used. Did you notice the use of be plus past participles? We may also use passive with models. This is the rule. Model plus be plus past participle. One scene may be shot from five to six different angles. Are you able to describe a short process? You may use first, next, then, and after to help you out. Great. And now we're going to have the one for today. We already did the knowledge check. This is where we practice our passive voice. Um, now we're going to do the listening. We're going to listen and guess what are the occupations for each one.
Okay, seems like we're having a little bit of difficulties. Okay. It's not loading. Let me try it one more time. Okay, let me stop sharing and see if that helps. Okay, that seemed to help. Okay, how was that? Is it a little bit better now you remember? To be honest. <laughs> we think that all is correct, but it's not correct. For the verb to be. Uh, for the the correct order to to the sentence. Okay, so in all of them you got wrong. No. No, no. Um, the majority was was uh, good. Okay. The less wrong, but it was very confused and funny too. Very funny because we tried to to uh, get some ideas each other. Is this, is this teacher? Okay. <laughs> this is the exercise, yes. Yes. Oh, for the question. Like <laughs> the de pansato, I said. 
Okay, okay. Ah, uh, yes. The questions are a little bit more confusing because you have to change the structure and the the order. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have it's similar like um it's similar like a normal question, right? Like a question for the future or the present. Can you cook pupusas or will you go to the beach? But instead of having the you and then the action is the verb to be. So will the workers and then instead of instead of saying replace, uh, be replaced because the action happens to them. The same thing for the others. Will and then the subject and then the verb to be. So the only difference is it's the same idea, but you need to add the verb to be when making those in questions. But that's good. Don't worry. The idea is in in the platform is not necessary to do questions, but I want you to practice because questions are very normal also. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Good. Now let's practice a little bit more. Let's get some more ideas. Okay. So this is the idea. Now we're going to go to exercise 4.5 in the platform and we're going to do it together. In 4.5, it's a listening exercise. So we're going to listen and we're going to guess the occupations. Okay. So here we have many different occupations casting director, location scout, screenwriter, dialect coach, prop designer, and script doctor. What we're going to do is we're going to write the names of the professions here. So we're going to listen and write down which profession is being described for each one. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, let's listen. Okay, doesn't sound like it's playing. Okay, let me try one more time. Page 95, exercise nine, perspectives, quiz show, part A, listen to a quiz show. Can you guess the occupations? One, a blank who finds appropriate places to shoot scenes gets to travel all over the world. Two, a blank is someone who chooses an actor for each part in a movie. Three, a blank who makes sure that everything on a movie set looks realistic, creates the objects that the characters use. Four, a blank is someone who develops and expands a story idea into a full movie script. Five, a blank is a language specialist who works with actors on their accents. Six, a blank, who is used when an original screenplay needs more work, makes jokes funnier, and dialogues more realistic. Okay, so here we have all of the concepts. For number one, who do you think or what do you think is the name for the person who finds appropriate places uh, to for the scenes and gets to travel all over the world? Location yeah. scout. Yes. Okay. Good. Location scout. What about number two? A person is someone who chooses an actor for each part of the movie.
casting uh, casting. Director. casting casting director yes casting okay. director good a casting director Mafia. okay what about number three Mafia. Mafia. Uh, set designer a set designer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a person to make sure on a movie looks realistic and creates prop, the object prop designer it's, it's a prop, prop designer. designer okay prop, prop designer, designer. Mm -hmm. great number four someone who develops and expands a story into a full movie script Screen writer. A script writer. A, okay. a script doctor. doctor. A, a script doctor or a screenwriter? Who developed this file? Uh, number which? Number, number three. Number three. Number three? Oh, sorry, number four. Number four. Number four. Screenwriter. Screenwriter. Number five. Is the person is a language specialist? Dialect, yeah, dialect, dialect coach. 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 Sure, dialect coach. Dialect coach. Mm -hmm. Dialect, dialect. What is the pronunciation? Dialect. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. And the last one is script doctor. The script doctor. Okay. Very good. So now we see that the movie is not only making a movie with an actor, right? Oh, with when you work in a movie, you have a lot of things, a lot of people, and a lot of jobs. Similar for the concept for many people in El Salvador for the call centers. Many people think in the call centers, ah, only is necessary answer the calls. But the same, you have human resource, accounting, IT specialist, security, uh, maintenance, uh, security guards, the the idea for recruiters, HR, we have many. The same in your job. In your job, you have many different people and functions. In this moment, we're gonna discuss your job. For example, who do you have in your job and what is their, what do they do? What are the, the job description? Similar, if I work on a movie, oui, I have a lot of people in the movie. I have the, the casting director, the location scout. And then I describe a little bit for each person. Okay? Okay. All right. Morena, let's begin with you. Tell us about your job and the people and the professions in your job. Okay. Thank you, teacher. My job is very, um, sometimes um, the environment is very stressful, but there are different departments, you know, I work in a call center, I receive inbound phone call. And the, the call is referring to the customer need uh, our service. Our service is TV on the United States for web, for immigrant people or people that they don't have, that they couldn't have the formal document. And we sell that kind of different, uh, different method, method for them, right? For example, if they want to buy the, the equipment or if they have a, a security, uh, security number, um, we are going to rent our equipment. But this is when sales referring. But if the customer has our service, if they need to pay, we uh, have to transfer with a uh, customer service. And customer service, they make different uh, different activities too. They receive pay, or maybe if the customer needs technician situation, they are going to help help them. And another guys. As a technician, go to the house to build or install that service, and each people make different different uh, activities in my job behind um behind the phone, right? But we are a, a big group of team working for that special client. 
Okay, pretty good, Morena. Very nice. Thank you. Nice description. Good. Select the next person. Ulisa, Maximo, or Anna. Okay, I would like to listen. Um, Anna Aguillon, it's okay for me. Okay, perfect. Okay, Anna. thank you, Morena. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay. I work from a, a call center mm -hmm. in the labor relations department. In my, in my one of, of the one of the my function is um, give to or send to the salary letter for the people. Uh, first, the people uh, ask for a request in the in the tool. Uh, the people send the ticket, and when I receive the ticket, uh, I prepare the, the salary letter, uh, the bills, and the schedule letter, and the embassy letter, all, all of them. And I prepare and send to the, to the email from the employees. And another of my function is, um, revise the bonus from the people from uh, I revise the bonus and then uh, the payroll department uh, pays the, the bonus and other function is uh, uh, is uh, is send the people to to get a Seguro social, is a seguro social, is mm -hmm. <laughs> AFP. And ah, I I answer the the the, the sign the contract for the employees. I print all contract of from from the uh, the classes. I don't know. Wait. And a new way is into the, the call center. I have to bring all of the con contract for the people have to sign uh, that contract. And the people sign the policies. And I have to, to, to look uh, or to, to give information from the people uh, is is open the a cuenta en el banco is a account bank a, account yes my bank account and when the people finish uh, that the contract I have to make a finiquito I don't know what this what is the meaning in English but I have to to make a finiquito for the people sign. Okay, that's great, Anna. You talk a lot about your job, but remember also is to describe the other positions and what do they do in your company? Ah, another positions. Yes, because remember- No, my position. Not ah. your position, because remember, like the exercise, not describe me, describe the movie director, the scouts, the doc, the script doctor, and describe their job. So what are the other jobs ah. in the company? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. In my company, the payroll, uh, the payroll department, mm -hmm. uh, they have to prepare the, the payroll and send the, and they send the, the payslip for mm -hmm. the employees and the account manager has to 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 move the people for the uh, complain the the metrics and uh, maybe the supervisor has to uh, has to 
power, powerful the, the people, empoderar a la gente. Empower. Empower the people for the for 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 get a good metrics. Um, the facility department uh, they have to 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 coordinate the, the transportation for the for the employees. Okay. From, yes. Um, Excellent. Anna. I don't know. Excellent. Good. Who is next, Anna? Maximo or Julisa? Julisa. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> well, uh, in my job, I work in a call center. In a call center too. Um, I'm a supervisor. Another positions are um, QA. Um, they are um, um, encargados. Responsible. To, responsible to follow up uh, the, the metric of quality in all the the calls, uh, they have the responsibility of make a coaching, a, a direct coaching for all the agents to follow all the requirement for the, the client, the direct client. We have to um, work first thing. Um, they are responsible to make a schedule for all the agents, the, um, to watch all the auxiliar auxiliaries. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, formation. It's all other team that is responsible to to teach all the the what all the topics all the procedimientos i don't know process process all the information about the the clients, um, uh, my my account is an, an airline, so we have a lot of process and they are the responsible to the agent or the future agent um, learn all the process and all the information. And the other um, IT, IT or help desk support. Mm -hmm. Okay. They help us with um, run application, uh, fail on computers on the avayas because we use avayas etc etc and we have a gh or relationship um, team um, they are responsible to be more empathic with empath empathic with the agent if they have a fam family problems or um, a medical situation, something that. Okay, thank you very much, Elisa. Thank you very much. Great. And Maximo, what about your job? Okay, well, I am a project manager in my job 
uh, there is a supervise, supervisor in the area of bakery. Uh, it's a woman. She has, she, she keeps the process in order to the manual in according to the manual and they with she with with her co-workers uh, develop new products and the other area is the store bodega the warehouse uh, sorry warehouse a warehouse they they prepare the product to delivery to the client mm -hmm. uh, every day okay mm -hmm. maximo what is the bakery that you work with S excuse me what is the bakery that you work with The bakery. Yes. What is the name of the bakery? And uh, say, uh, it's Servicio de Alimentos. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. The brand, okay. Servicio okay. de Alimentos. Okay, so it's not like it's not a a, a bakery, uh, only right. It's many different products. Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right. So that is the idea for what we learned today to be able to describe and talk about not only your job, which is nice, but also about your company, different areas, different departments. That is the idea. Now, today we have a good ideas about all of this. We reviewed the passive voice. Tomorrow, we're going to learn about defining and non-defining relative clauses. And we're going to complete the exercises and finish the unit for tomorrow. Remember, defining is and non-defining is only, is sound technical, but is super easy. Only is information that is necessary or extra information. That's it, okay? So for example, the shirt is blue. Is important or not important? If it's important, defining. If it's not important, non-defining. This is kind of the concept for tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to continue and learn more about that topic. Okay? Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, rest well. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.